Lynn Boyd was born on November 22, 1800, in Nashville, Tennessee, to Abraham Boyd and his wife. He came from a military family. His father and grandfather served in the Revolutionary War. They lived in Trigg County. When he was young, he worked and had little formal education. In 1826, he moved to a farm in Callaway County, which is part of the Jackson Purchase region of Kentucky. He became a representative for the Kentucky House and worked with his father, who was a representative from Trigg County. He moved to Trigg County and became a legislator there. He married Alice Bennett in 1832. He ran for the U.S. Congress in 1833, but lost. He ran again and was elected in 1835. He served until 1837 when he lost re-election. He served in the U.S. House of Representatives from 1839 to 1855. He supported Andrew Jackson and the annexation of Texas. He was a supporter of Southern state rights, slavery, but wanted to preserve the Union. He was a big player in the Compromise of 1850. While in the House, he helped with making the Texas border and taking in Texas's debt and organizing the New Mexico Territory. He became Speaker of the House in 1851 and served until 1855. In 1850, he married Anna Dixon. In 1852, he moved to Paducah and built Oakland. He was elected Lieutenant Governor of Kentucky in 1859. He died on December 17, 1859, before he could serve as Lieutenant Governor. Hope you've enjoyed learning about Lynn Boyd. He was a politician for Kentucky and represented Kentucky at a national level. He is overlooked by history, but played a major role during his time. Boyd County, the 107th County of Kentucky, is named after Lynn Boyd. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod. If you'd like to support the channel, check out patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms. And check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.